Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to break down belly line dance number 13. Can you believe it? We're already on number 13. Okay, so um, you know how this works. There is already a follow along video. Check out the link below. Uh, come here first, learn the combo. This one is a very, very uh, short combo, which repeats over and over again. There's no changing as in like facing to the back or like go in a weird way this is a very straightforward one it's um a combo going to the, the first wall the second wall the third the fourth and it just continues and there's no weird bit where something repeats differently it's a straightforward one we are using this belly line dance um for dance for clean oceans so dance for clean oceans um i've decided to do another online um event of it since we're still not able to have a public event um, with lots of people. So we're going to do it online again, hopefully for the last time this year. But we're going to use this belly line dance, um, the compilation for it, um, as one of the performance videos for the show. Okay, so if you want to participate, I need you to send me a clip by the 20th of May. Okay, and um, which still gives you plenty of time to learn this one, practice it, and then film yourself, okay? Remember for the belly line dances, I really need landscape um, for the best result, to be honest, because um, usually if you're sending me portrait, then somehow you get cut off on the sides and then you can't see the arms or, you know, um, or you're going out of frame a lot. So um, landscape is the best. Um, I understand that sometimes you're like too close or you feel like you're too close and you can't really see all over you. Um, but I much rather see a smiley face <laughs> than, you know, having you go out of frame. Okay, so right, we are going to break down the combo and then head over to the um, follow along video with the music. Um, one thing I will say, it is fast, okay, um, but it is a lot of fun and um, yeah, I look forward to receiving your clips to put them together. Um, first things first, um, disclaimer, please only follow along if you are physically fit and well to follow along. Make sure that you are in a safe environment where nothing can um, be in the way. No kids, no pets, no things being on the floor, nothing that can fall on top of you, no doors that open up into, you know, your space. Um, we just really want to make sure that if you're following um, along at home, and not in a studio where the teacher is present to make sure that there are no hazards around you. You are responsible um, for yourself to make sure that you can't harm yourself or anyone else. Okay, so now we can begin. All right, this is the combo. We are starting off with a very simple forward and back step. Okay, and we're starting on the right. So you're just going forward and back. Okay, I'm gonna see I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the side. So you're simply stepping forward and back, and then you come back in again. Okay, so it goes right, left, right, left, in. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate from this side here. You're going right, left, right, left, in. So as we're doing this, our hands are on the side here. And we're shoulder shimming. We're going forward and back and in. Okay, so it goes forward, back, in. Your hands come up here after that, and you're going to do two hip drop releases. They're quite quick. They go one and two and. Okay, so that's the next thing. Let's combine that. You're going forward and back and one and two and you're starting on the right for the forward and back and you're starting on the right for the hip drop release okay after that your arms come out here you're stepping back in and you're going right left all the way around pop okay now this is not a slide so you're not doing a ribcage slide but it is a half circle coming from the back to the front diagonal and going back to the other side here okay so 
if you were to do a horizontal um, circle, not a vertical one, okay, you only do in half of it. So you just came back, you did the one, two, now you're going from the shoulder here, back over to the right, then coming back over to the left. From here, we're taking it all the way around, pop, okay? Make sure that your back is protected while you're doing this, okay? So make sure you've got the right position, okay? Belly dance position. So we're going from the top, we're going forward and back, and one and two and one and two and one and two. Right? Okay, so after that, you just did this and around. The hands come just behind you slightly here and they're stepping back on your left. You're stepping back on your left and you're doing two hip drops on the right hip. You're stepping back on your right and you're doing two hip drops on your left. So you're going from here, here, boom, boom, boom. You're going one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, try to keep your upper body nice and straight forward so that because otherwise if you go with the hip then you don't really see much what's happening with the hip. So if you're staying front on and you're stepping back, you're going boom, 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 boom. Okay, isolation. Okay, so from the top with that, we're going forward and back and drop and drop and over and over and round and pop and one two three one two three yeah okay so you just arrived here with your hip down your arms now come up here well one arm comes up the other one goes down so you're here and we're now going to do two hip drop releases on the left hip okay so you got one and two and okay just from the going back bit you go in one and two and one and two one and two and okay now we're going to combine that as well starting from the beginning we're going forward and back and drop and drop and here here round and pop go back one and two and one and two and Okay, um, right, so you've just done two hip drop releases on the left and from there, because you just finished here, you're now bringing your hands, the, the one from, the, from high up comes to your head and the one that was down low here is coming to your uh, hip and from here now, because your weight is on the right, you're now bringing that foot in, but as you're doing this, you're doing a half hip circle forward, pushing forward, then pushing back again to your right, and then you need to use your feet to face the next wall. Your hand comes up as you bring the circle over to the side. Protect your lower back by tucking under, okay? because otherwise you may hurt yourself if you're just bending in there like this. You don't want to do that. You want to have control while you're doing this. So make sure that you're tucked under. Okay, so that's a whole combo. So we're just going to go through it and um, you will be facing your left side when you're done. And then again, your left and then again, your left and then again, your left. So here we go, starting on your right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three and four, five, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you start again. And you start again by going forward and back. Okay, I'm gonna face the back now so you can follow along. So we're here. We're starting five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, 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 
moves um for the belly line dancers it's really for dancers who already know the different moves so what you have in here you can always search online if you need the breakdown of the actual move you have the shoulder shimmy that we have with the forward and back step here then you've got the hip drop uh release now if you're new and you're not yet familiar or you're still struggling with the hip drop release because people do struggle with that one when they first get started um, you can simply do hip drops on the spot instead so instead of going one and two and you go one and two and so you do four four on the spot like this without the release okay if that is not yet where you're at that's totally fine um, so then you have the circle the ribcage circle or chest circle so you can search for that make sure that you're going for the horizontal one if somebody explains how to do that and not the vertical one which goes over and down okay we're talking about the classic horizontal um chest circle or ribcage circle okay um you need that one uh you also need um, well, they are effectively hip drops. The only difference here is that you're moving backwards with them. And then again, you have the hip drops and then you have the um, hip circle, the halves, and then the full one turning you around. Um, but if, you, if this is new to you, then you need to start by just learning how to do the hip circle. And it's really important that you're tucked under because otherwise you end up doing something weird like this and we don't want that okay so if you're doing the hip circle um it's quite static there's nothing like this going on we, we do have moves like that too but for this one here you just want to have a nice circle okay right so that's the combo head on over do um do it with the music send me a clip by the 20th of may i need it by the 20th of may if you want to be in the compilation for dance for clean oceans for this particular belly line dance i need your clip by the 20th of may so that i have time to put it all together um before the show okay if you want to know more about the actual event the dance for clean oceans i leave a link down below in the description and then if you want to participate or if you just want to come and um, be a guest and supporter we welcome that too um, and all the instructions are below other than that have fun with it and uh, let's go and do it with the music all right take care bye bye